Unlucky for some, but hopefully today, not for us. How are you doing, ladies and gentlemen? It is me, Lasty, here. Welcome to a new episode of the FIFA 23 Road to Glory. That's right. Some of you pointed out that I did say the FIFA 22 Road to Glory the other day, and I haven't been able to live it down since. You lot are really on it, aren't you? All right, let me know in the comments section when I've made a mistake. I'm so used to saying it. I made 350 something episodes of the of the damn thing. Um, but yeah, I'm sure I'll get used to saying FIFA 23 as the episodes go on. Anyway, I hope you lot are all doing well. If you could do me a favor right at the start of the video and help me out by uh, by smashing that thumbs up, that'd be absolutely fan dabby doozy. Fantastic. I don't know. Anyway, and also don't forget, of course, to subscribe to the channel if you're new. So, um, happy Friday, everyone. We are, uh, it is officially, I think, the first day of the actual weekend league. So good luck if you are playing in it. I, at this very moment in time, don't even have enough points to even qualify. So we're hopefully going to work on that in today's video. Uh, and then we'll go through the weekend. I've also got a busy weekend. I'm going away to Morecambe, which... If any of you know the your geography, Ipswich is in, in one corner of the country, Morecambe's in another. It's not going to be a short trip, but um, yeah, anything to, to go and watch the football club, right? So uh, going to be away quite a lot of the weekend. So if I am going to play weekend league, it's going to be a rushed affair. Anyway, we'll get on to that in the next couple of episodes, no doubt. Today is more about, um, I sat there one afternoon and was like, hey, i got a bit of time on my hands today. What I'm going to do is get this 500 assists and 500 goals thing in squad battles done. So I was beating the computer like 40 nil every game on amateur. Uh, purely to get 500 goals and 500 assists. Um, so that we can get two 100k packs. That's right, two 100k packs. Lovely, lovely stuff. Hopefully, we can get something good out of them. Um... I haven't actually packed a ones to watch outside of my guaranteed one in Schlotterbeck and then doing the challenge for uh, for Dest. So, wouldn't mind packing a promo card. Uh, I guess we've got a new promo coming out tonight. You guys may know a little bit more about that than I do right now. Um, but we, uh, we start with a two players, 75 to 83 rated. We get a little Kramerich in that. I think I just put him into an SBC, so uh, he is not a duplicate anymore. And now we've got two 100k packs, minimum of an 84 rated player in each of these. And we're going to get, oh no, is that boards? Or is it a walkout that's just camera bent the other way? It is, it's Brozovic. But I, I genuinely don't know the walkout tell now, because the camera is panning left, it's panning right. I, I just can't work it out. we got Brozovic, who is as we worked out in yesterday's video, about the cheapest 86 on the game. Uh, and that's the only walkout in that one. Actually, not really much to write home about in that particular pack. So, yeah, I was all right with it because at least we did get a walkout. But it's not it's not the greatest, is it? Like, in all honesty, we were hoping for a little bit better than that. But is what it is, right? So, uh, I think I stick some of those duplicate untradeables into a 78 plus upgrade before that expired just so i didn't just discard them for no apparent reason um it's not going to be good though i mean when you see the libertadores the best you could get is like a suarez and that's an, only an 84 so uh it's not exactly going to be great but yeah we get another duplicate so i just discard him write that one off as an, a, an l and we'll move on to this the final 100k pack can we get anything saucy can we get anything good we can get well, hopefully another walkout. It is going to be Kingsley Coman. 86 rated. It is a walkout, of course. The Bayern Frenchman. 92 pace, ladies and gentlemen. 87 dribbling. This is someone that I'm going to want in my starting 11. Oh, we also get an inform as well as another walkout in Thiago Silva. Um, as well as another 20k player in Correa. A much, much better 100k pack. Yes, there was a, a Musiala in that. I'm pretty sure I recorded this on Wednesday just before 6 p.m. So the new team of the week wasn't quite in there yet. Um, it is how it is, you know, with me going away. I, I am a couple of days ahead on the on the content itself. Um, having said that, I'm recording this for you guys on, on Thursday afternoon, evening. 
and I've still not even started qualifying for the weekend league. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're cutting it a bit tight there. But with the fodder we got from those two packs, I thought, hey, <clears throat> I want this Gakpo. I know it's like the third SBC player that I've done already on the series, and uh, I'm using all of my fodder on all of these SBCs, but that's what I love to do. So welcome Gakpo to the RTG. Looks like a great super sub, hopefully at some point in time. Could even maybe even get in the starting 11, just dependent on other players that are good in the game that we end up packing or something like that. Um, so yeah, this squad is actually going to change uh, because I wanted to try something different in terms of my like formation when I'm in game. So I want to go 3-5-2. I'm going to take a sip of coffee because I can already hear the voice starting to go. It's getting a little bit better though, ladies and gentlemen, just to keep you on uh, on top of that. Hot coffee today. <clears throat> ah, should do vocal warm-up, shouldn't I, before I uh, start the videos. But um, yeah, I wanted to go three at the back. I wanted to go 3-5-2 because basically all my mates are playing that and having some pretty good success with it. And I figured out a team that I could buy or could build, actually featuring some of the good players that are in my club. Some of these like 20K players like um, like Bellingham, like uh, Frimpong, like Diaby, and also getting in like Komen into the squad as well. So yeah, it's, it was a fairly easy build in a regular 4-4-2. Obviously, I'm going to play Araujo, Schlotterbeck, and uh, Lucas Hernandez as my three centre-backs in that 3-5-2. And I think that will work well. I don't see an issue with that because they're all lengthy. They've all got the right chemistry style on them to make them fast. So despite not all having like over 80 pace or whatever, I think they'll be just fine. Um, so you'll see what I'm setting up in the in the 3-5-2, just where I'm putting players. If you're desperate to know like what instructions and tactics and stuff I'm using... Um, I guess I can maybe put that in a future video. Let me know if you really, really want to know that stuff. However, what I would recommend is just heading over to like some of the pro players' social medias because, uh, so, you know, type into YouTube the certain formation that you're looking to play. And I guarantee you one of the pros has uploaded a meta tactics video because that's the content they make. Um, <clears throat> and they know a lot more about like the, the instructions and stuff than, than what I would do, a lowly uh, average player here on FIFA or just to, who makes Road to Glory episodes, you know. So definitely follow their plans uh, instead of what I'm doing. But I am trying the 3-5-2. I wanted to put uh, uh, Memphis Depay, who's an extinct player as we speak, which is kind of nuts, and Lewandowski up front. Lovely skill goal, by the way. Um, that was kind of nuts from the from the Polish striker. Uh, and then, yeah, we've got Kingsley Komen at Cam in the 3-5-2. Uh, with Frimpong out wide on the right, like being that like, right wing back, right mid type player. And then Diaby, who I'm not... That's not the perfect fit for Diaby. I want someone who's a little bit better defensively out in that left mid spot. But I can make some changes at half time and stuff. But the one thing you will notice is that actually a couple of my special items aren't in the starting 11 anymore. <coughs> Excuse me. So Rashford, he's come out of the starting 11. Most expensive SBC I've done so far. And Akanji, the biggest and best player we've packed so far, come out of the starting 11 to make this squad work. Um, and that's not a big deal to me because, you know, I change squads all the time. So in a couple of days, I'm sure they'll be back in or I can bring them on as substitutes and enjoy them that way. Um, so... Because like Akanji is already lengthy. So if I bring him on as a sub, even on zero cam, he's still lengthy, so he'll still be fast. And Rashford couldn't get lengthy anyway. So he's just going to play to his base stats if you bring if you bring him on. So that will be just fine. Um, so, yeah. Um, and, and then I've got other players. But I just, I kind of wanted to get Bellingham in the squad. I really wanted to try this Komen that we packed. Uh, and I was interested in like Frimpong and and and... And actually, the, my ones to watch Schlotterbeck kind of wanted to bring him back in because he's just sat there doing nothing. Uh, I know it's the same as his regular card, which I'm sure is pretty cheap, but just a cool card that I think could do a job. And now we know about all this like lengthy stuff, eh? So, um, three all in this game right here. Are we about to go 4-3 down? Yes, we are. Uh, essentially, obviously, this was still last week's... 
Uh, this was Wednesday night, so this was still last week's rival sesh. So we've still sat on eight wins already. Uh, don't necessarily need the wins or anything, but it would be helpful because it's the quickest way for me to get the rivals points, which is what I'm aiming to get up to so that I have the 1250 so that if I need to, I can, well, I do need to, uh, so I can go on into the qualifiers. <coughs> Excuse me. So as we go on into the next match, I go 1-0 up. However, this man has Haaland, and Haaland, as we all know, is a robot, is not human. He is inevitable, and in all honesty, is both broken in real life and on this game. So I think it's a pretty realistic uh, like take on how he is in real life when he because he, he's so good on this game. Uh, it's kind of nuts. Honestly, every time I come up against the man, I just can see goals to him. It's ridiculous. But then like real life pro defenders can't can't even deal with him at the moment and he is scoring hat trick after hat trick they had to bring him off at half time the other night just so that he stopped scoring goals um which i don't know why you would do but maybe to rest him for the next game or something keep him hungry but uh yeah i think this man is is feasting in the prem and in the champions league we've got something special there we've got a future record breaker i think in erling Haaland. um and it's going to be interesting like if he's on his current path of goals this season we were speaking to some mates about this the other day. We reckon he's on for a good 60 goal season. And then that just, I think that goes to just show you how crazy that year was when Messi got 91 goals in a calendar year. Um, so I think Haaland might, well, it depends. I guess if he carried on at his actual tally right now, he'd probably get close to that, I think. Uh, I haven't really done the maths, but um, yeah. It is. It, it goes to show you what a ridiculous season Messi had, or what a ridiculous year Messi had that time uh, when he ended up getting 91 goals. What FIFA was that, by the way? FIFA 12? Because they gave him a special card for it, didn't they? And it kept upgrading depending on what how many goals he got. I'm pretty sure that's FIFA 12. You can correct me down below if you are a FIFA OG and uh, and you know your stuff. Because I would be curious. Was it FIFA 13? Oh, I think it was FIFA 13. Yeah, I might have been wrong myself there. Uh, anyway, I'm 2-1 up in this game. I was 2-0 up. Uh, and then I got Lucas Hernandez sent off. I've been giving away penalties and getting, like, yellow cards and red cards quite a lot in the last couple of days. I think I might be quite aggressive with my tackling. Uh, it just... I guess that's just how it is with me struggling to defend. But actually playing with 10 men in this one worked a treat. I think I just took off Diaby, didn't play with a left mid, and then put put a Kanji on at centre back, and it was uh, it just worked. Yeah, it was it was absolutely perfect. So um, <coughs> five one up, five one against ice in the veins. I don't know, mate. Those veins might be frozen. Uh, but that actually takes us up into Division Six. Didn't think I was going to get this far so soon. Because I don't rate how good I am at this game. I think that I'm quite terrible. Some of you might look at this and be like, Div 6, mate, the game's been out nearly two weeks. You probably should have been up there already. Because um, some of you will be in Div 3, Div 4, you know. And uh, yeah, I guess you're just a lot better than me. It's as simple as that. But I got to a point where I had 1,249 out of 1,250 rivals qualification points or foot champs qualification points i needed one point to be able to play the qualifiers so it meant i needed to go into a whole new game and it didn't matter what the result would be right you know i could i could win draw or lose because i'd get enough points but um as it's looking likely we are winning this game um and i think we're going to come away with a victory as well does, does he quit on me do i get another goal and he quits Gakpo into Felix. I brought Jao Felix on, by the way. Just decided that I wanted to try him, and I was winning. Uh, and he felt pretty silky. He's obviously not like lengthy or anything, but he did feel he did feel pretty silky. So uh, quite a nice player that I might might try to bring on a little bit more often. I actually forgot that we got five subs this year, so I've only been bringing three on. Um, so I need to. I can definitely bring more on in the future. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Champions playoffs achieved. I can now attempt at least to get into the weekend league. I've got a feeling it won't go very well. But if that's the case, I won't be too disheartened. 
because I've got a busy weekend anyway, but I will try and I will... Uh, then if I do get in, I will obviously try my best in the weekend league to see where we can get. Um, maybe some games like today as you're watching this on a Friday. And then I'd save some of my games for Sunday. Maybe all of my games for Sunday when I'm back from Morecambe away. Although that sounds like a stressful afternoon, doesn't it? Getting back on a Sunday afternoon after a long old drive. And then having 20 games a weekend league to play against the Sweats. Hmm. We'll have to see. I'll, I'll, I'll see what's... Uh, what it's looking like in terms of timing and schedule and stuff. Because I want to prioritize getting the videos out to you lot so that you do have like a double upload on Sunday and stuff like that. Uh, but that's going to be the end of the episode today. I think with a much better voice than yesterday. It's gone a little bit croaky from time to time, but it's definitely an improvement. So I think the old vocal cords are recovering, which is good news. Um, if you've enjoyed today, do me a favor. Oh God, I've gone croaky. As soon as I've, I've jinxed myself. Um, yeah, if you've enjoyed today, hit me with a thumbs up. That'd be amazing. 5,000 likes is what we're looking for, boys and girls. So uh, if you can make that happen, you'll make my day. And subscribe to the channel as well if you're new. Thank you. Cheers. Um, my social media links are in the description as well. Have a good day. Take it easy. Stay safe and healthy. I'm absolutely boiling, so I'm going to go and chill out for a bit. Uh, and I'll be back again tomorrow with some... Well, I'll actually bring you my rivals rewards tomorrow because I've uh, I've once again not done that in this episode and they were a couple of days ago. So I'll, uh, I'll catch back up with my rivals rewards tomorrow and I'll see you then. Peace.